Welcome to Reread. Today I'm going over three comic books here. The first one is Marvel 81. Uh, Han Solo goes on a mission to retrieve his money from the bank on Tatooine. Leia's like, I'll give you money. You know, they're back on Endor because actually at the end of Bakura, they do go back to Endor because Admiral Atbar has a mission for him. But I guess it was nothing because as we pick up in 81, Han's wanting to go get his money now that Jabba's dead. But he can't get his money because they, they have on file that he's stuck in carbonite. You know, so he's mad about that. And he said, I don't know how to talk to a droid and how to get those records fixed. And, they, and Leia realizes, because Leia and R2-D2 go with him, she went, wait, let's go back and get R2 from the Falcon. He can, you know, talk to that droid and get your records straight. And he's like, yeah. When they go, they find out that the Jawas have stolen R2-D2. So now they have to track down R2-D2 and the, uh, the Jawas that stole him. But this is where we get Boba Fett. Boba Fett shoots out, I guess, I'm guessing with his rocket pack. He's unconscious. Because of his armor, the Jawas think he's a droid too and bring him on the same sand crawler. R2-D2 sees him, knows exactly who he is. When Han jumps onto the sand crawler and goes to, you know, rescue R2-D2, he comes face to face with Boa Fett, who has no idea who he is. Boa Fett has amnesia. Ah, uh, so he doesn't remember anything, what's going on. And so... Uh, but he, right toward the end, when the sand crawler it falls into the starlight pit, he realizes who Solo is, tries to shoot him. And Han Solo is trying to help him, help him get out. But instead of gri gri grabbing his hand, Boa Fett moves to shoot him. Of course, Han jumps off, and <clears throat> Boa, ba Boa Fett goes back into the Sarlacc pit, falls back into the Sarlacc pit. Now, everyone says this is a contradiction in the EU. However, if you recall, in that, a bar of like that, they say, you know, he almost escaped on his second day. And then they say later on, or, you know, you, you, you think you will not get another chance to escape again or whatnot. So those lines there do, I, I, you can kind of fit this in. Issue 81, you can. Anyway, the next one is Do or Do Not from Star Wars Tales 15. Basically, um, Luke uh, is upset because the ghost of Obi-Wan Kenobi, Anakin Skywalker, no one's talking to him. And he really needs guidance. How is he supposed to rebuild the Jedi Order without their help? And Leia kind of comforts him and says, you know, you got a sister now. You're not alone. I'm with you all. And then there's like the ghost of Yoda smiling as they walk away. <laughs> Screw you, Tails. Finally, move on to Marvel Star Wars issue number 82. Luke, it opens up training against Ewoks. He's doing all these battle maneuvers against Ewoks, which I think is funny. Ewoks are testing out his skill. And who jeeps and Ewoks meet for the first time ever? Ooh, yeah, mark, mark that issue, right? 82, where the real deal happens. Anyway, Admiral Atbar sends Luke and one of the who jeeps to Iskabar, one of the, uh, I think it's Iskalon, uh, one of the, the water planet they'd been on before. When they get there, they encounter Danny. Uh, 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 Rick Duel and Chido, the the Greedo Rodian, and it's them again. They're trying to rob the planet a little bit, or rob what's left of the Imperial garrison that was there. And the Escalon Escalon people come up with their little bubble helmets, <coughs> and they uh, at first they're attacking Luke until Kiro, who we'd seen before, comes back, and he figures he'll go with Luke and join the Rebel Alliance, or or go see the stars. So he suits up in this armor that retains water, I guess. It looks ridiculous. Again, I'm not a Kiro fan. He's like, okay, let's go. And so he leaves the home planet for them. Um, and so and he makes Rick Duel, Chido, and uh, Danny leave too. So they, you know, they're just scavengers. They're just kind of go picking over the leftovers, you know, just vultures. So he makes them leave too. I don't know if they're going with Luke on the next adventure. It doesn't matter because there's going to be a break in the story right now. But I mean, overall, you know, that it's okay. Again, I do not like Kiro. If you've read the Marvel comic books, you kind of see where the story's going. I'm interested to reread him, but again, he looks dumb. He seems boring. That's one character Mary Jo Duffy created that I'm just not into. But Hoojeebs, all in for Hoojeebs. All right, folks, that's it for now. See you next time.